Worship is always the first thing. There are a lot of strange descriptions of the throne room of God in our passage today, and we can easily be swept up in trying to decipher the meaning of the colors, sounds, and creatures present, as well as the numbers that are relayed in John's vision. And while those things may be elucidating, they are not the most important thing in this passage. This chapter begins with John being called through a doorway to the throne of God where he is told that he will be shown what will take place after Christ comes in final victory. It's in this context of what comes next that the throne room is described in great and grandiose detail. But all of the greatness and grandness of the scene is in service of what takes place in the throne room. Worship. The four living creatures with six wings and eyes all over sing praises to God. Then all 24 elders on the 24 thrones fall prostrate before God and throw their crowns at the Lord's feet. And while we are debating and decoding all of the descriptive wording in this passage, we miss an amazing point. These fantastic, clearly important heavenly entities... I'll stop what they're doing when Christ comes in final victory. They stop not to mobilize, not to join the victory parade, and not to reveal themselves in power and majesty in their own right, but to worship God and God alone. Even when Christ comes in final victory, the first and most important work is worship. Let us be people of worship this day. Let us worship God with all we have.